What is up guys and today this is actually some black ops gameplay now, I've been playing this game a bit recently, but this actually isn't my gameplay. This is a, a friend I have on Xbox uh, His name is Oko. I don't believe he has a YouTube channel, but if he does I'll make sure to put it in the description I'll make sure to ask him, but he is using the golden stakeout, which uh, you know Not the worst gun, but you know, it's by far not the best gun either and uh, he managed to go 74 and 9 which is a really good score and he only uses three, four, and five kill streaks. So no Blackbird, no Chopper, or any dogs. Just three, four, and five. UAV, counter UAV, and the Napalm Strike. So that is a really good score overall. A lot of rushing and a really high, high action gameplay for sure. But, anyways, guys, what I want to let you guys know is that I'm going to take a little bit of a break from Model for 3. And even though my channel grew in Model for 3 a lot. And it's not that I dislike the game. Um, actually, something I wanted to bring up is someone said to me yesterday, uh, a couple days ago, um, that whenever one Call of Duty, its time error comes to an end, when the next Call of Duty comes out after the fact, everyone seems to love that Call of Duty. So let me just use this as an example. Say Black Ops is out, right? And people didn't like Black Ops while it was out, and it's Prime a lot, right? Well, what I notice is that now since Modern Warfare 3 is out, a lot of people are going back to Black Ops and saying Modern Warfare 3 is a bad game and Black Ops is actually a good game. Now, is this going to happen the same thing when the next Call of Duty comes out? When, um, when Modern Warfare 3 is out or over and Black Ops 2 comes out, will everyone say, ah, oh, you know, Modern Warfare 3 actually wasn't that bad. I, I actually didn't mind that game. Will people actually say that or do that? Um, I don't know, it's hard to tell. I've always liked Call of Duty Black Ops. It has always been my favorite Call of Duty ever made. And like I'm trying to say here is that, you know, I'm not just, uh, you know, I'm not talking bad about Modern Warfare 3. I think it's a good game. But I have 19 days played on the game. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break because I played the game a little too much. And, uh, you know, 19 days is a lot of time played. At least for myself, I'm sure uh, some of you guys might have some more playing time. I don't know. That's a pretty high number. But, uh, you know, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from uh, Black o or Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to play some other games. Um, mostly, I'm going to try and stick to the Call of Duty series just so I don't get, you know, I don't lose my skill or talent for it. Um, I've been playing some Black Ops and a lot of World at War. Um, the thing with World at War that I've noticed is the fact that it is hacked to shit, man. There's some really bad hacks in that game. And, you know, it seems like a really fun game. And, you know, I want to like it and I really want to play it. But there, there's just almost a hacker in every lobby, and sometimes they make it unplayable to the point where I can't enjoy myself playing the game without somebody with god mode or something like that. Maybe I'll post a video in a couple days, like an example of uh, showing what, I, what I'm uh, talking about. But, uh, you know, Black Ops has always been a great game, and, uh, you know, I think I'm going to take, like, a one to two week break from Modern Warfare 3. I think that's going to be the best idea, because, you know, sometimes if you play stuff too much, you'll just get agitated with the game, and you'll lose interest in it, and, uh, you know, you'll get angry or disappointed or, you know, let down with it. So I think if I give Modern Warfare 3 a little bit of a break, and I come back to it in another week or two, you know, I'll find some enjoyment in it again. And, uh, you know, just like I said, uh, it's not that I'm not going to ever play it again, and I might still post it within the next week or two, but I might just not personally be playing the game. Now, even though I do normally like to upload whatever game I'm currently playing, because I just like to keep you guys up to date, I might still upload a Modern Warfare 3 video even though I'm not playing the game, just so you guys can watch it, because uh, I realize that it is the in and it's the trending game right now, it's what everyone wants to watch, but at the same time, um, you know, if I'm taking, a, if I'm not even playing the game, why would I upload it? And I do like to upload, uh, you know, what I feel like uploading. But if you guys really want to watch some Model for Three gameplay that bad, uh, I'll make sure that uh, I can at least upload some. But uh, if you guys aren't paying attention to this uh, gameplay and you're just listening to my voice or the commentary, you guys really need to watch this gameplay. This is a pretty beast gameplay, and uh, you know. You see all these guys that get the highest scores, but you know what the problem is with them? Is they're not consistent. You know, they get them every so often, and you know, they don't always play for the win. This guy right here is a pretty big beast. I haven't played with him in Modern Warfare 3 much, but you know, Black Ops, uh, he like to use the weird guns, like the Scorpions, the Stakeout, you know, some of the weird guns that are, uh, you know, he stayed away from like the FAMAS and all that, so, uh, so you guys go, uh, get him to start a channel because I think he'd be a pretty interesting uh, commentator and uh, you know he put up some good gameplay as well 
And uh, I got a question for you guys. Do you guys like Black Ops? Because um, I remember when uh, the days when I first started uploading, you guys seemed to like Black Ops. And, uh, you know, I personally, this is just my opinion, think Black Ops is a more enjoyable game to watch than Modern Warfare 3. If people post, uh, you know how people are posting Modern Warfare 3 gameplay right now, I don't know what exactly it is, but I kind of find more enjoyment in Black Ops gameplay more than Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. I think I just find it more interesting for some reason. I don't, I'm not sure why that is. Um, you know, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, which game do you guys prefer watching? I personally, like I said, like Black Ops better, but, um, you know, Modern Warfare 3 is the in thing, and it's what's going to get you the views, even though views isn't everything. Um, you know, I still like to keep up to date with everything, you know, and play the current game, and, uh, you not be one of those guys who just sticks on the old game just because I fanboy it so much, but, uh, anyways, guys, this commentary is, uh, coming to a close in another minute, so... I just thought I'd let you guys know on that, um, this wasn't really a big commentary, and, um, I know a lot of you guys wanted them to, uh, know, uh, if I'm Tense Prestige again, and yeah, I am, and a lot of people wanted to know if I got reset, or what happened, because I had a couple questions on my other video when I uploaded my, that I'm Tense Prestige again, and no, I didn't get reset, I, uh, actually switched from the PlayStation to the Xbox 360, and I was 10th Prestige on the PlayStation, but I ended up switching over to the Xbox 360, um, partway through. I'm not sure why I did that, it was just a change, and, you know, for the most part, I, I kind of enjoy my change, it's kind of for the better. Um, uh, not really saying that I prefer one console over the other, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, I'm fine where I am right now, both consoles are fine, but, uh, anyways, guys, like I said, this commentary is ending right about now, final score is 74-9 and nine with the golden stakeout using, uh, 3, 4, and 8 kill streaks, I believe, so anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, thank you for stopping by, and, uh, have a nice day, guys, peace.